Hey, it's Jen Vax with YourColorStyle.com, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the differences between bright, cool, and light, and bright, cool, and medium. So in your color style, um, let me explain the terminology very quickly, just in case you're new. The word bright means that you wear brighter colors best. And in the color palette, it starts with the brightest chroma of the color, no muting or anything like that, just a bright color. And then black is added to darken a color and white is added to lighten a color. If you were soft, you would be wearing uh, more soft colors best and the brighter colors might be too strong and vice versa if you're bright softer more muted colors may kind of drain you a little bit so we're looking at the a bright color palette uh, today in this video cool means that you have cool undertones so if you wear brighter colors best and you have cool undertones then you likely are going to be wearing the bright and cool color palettes so this video is focused on bright cool and light versus bright, cool, and medium. Light meaning uh, lighter colors. And if you are bright, cool, and light, you will likely have light skin, light eyes, and light hair. And bright, cool, and medium actually gets to the little, a little bit different. So yes, it means that if you have medium dark hair, for example, or eyes, you'll likely fit into the medium category. But there's also some nuances between the two that will also help um, make a decision for you. The bright, cool, and medium color palette tends to be a little harsher. And what I mean by that is the bright, cool, and light color palette, as you can see, is bright, it is light, and it um, isn't too dark, it's not too contrasty. And so if you are someone that you're sure wears brighter colors, has cool undertones, and has light skin and eyes, and I'll show you some photos here in a moment, this is gonna be the ideal color palette for you. The difference here is that for bright, cool, and medium, although the color wheel doesn't really show it, it's a, it's a higher contrast uh, color palette, and so therefore the person also has higher contrast about them, typically fair skin, but darker hair or eyes, something about them has a little bit more contrast to them. And really, when you're looking at the color palette, what you what this color wheel is not showing is that you wouldn't you want to wear some more of the um, higher contrast patterns and higher contrast combinations, darker and lighter colors together. Uh, that you wouldn't necessarily need to do for a bright, cool, and light color palette. And so if you can wear higher contrast stuff well and you've got medium dark hair, then you're likely not going to fit into the bright, cool, and light category. But sometimes I have have people that have sort of not super light hair, kind of medium hair, but the, but the bright, cool, and medium color palette just seems too harsh on them. And so we'll go with the light color palette instead. All right, so... I'm going to use the color analysis cards for my examples. These are found in the Your Color Style Kit, so if you are doing your own color analysis, then you'll be familiar with these cards. Notice that on the left, we go from light to bright, and then on the right, from medium, where I, we go bright to really uh, to much darker, so much, much more intense uh, color palette. But the colors themselves are the same, as you can see, pink to blue, but the right one is definitely more intense. So this is someone that's a perfect example of bright, cool, and light. Light, hot, light hair, skin and eyes, cool undertones. You can see that she's in perfect harmony with the bright, cool, and light color palette. It looks really, really great. When we put the medium colors against her, as you can see, it's not that it looks bad, but it's already starting to become too much. And for her best colors, I would stick to lighter. Now, I want you to also notice that I flipped the cards. The darkest colors are against her. Because the colors are very similar, they share the same edge here. Be careful when you're using these cards to decide. Um, make sure you flip them to some of the extremes on the cards so you can really get a clear idea of what's really going to work. Because if we used this right side against her, she would still be fine. And you'd say, oh, well, then she must be soft, cool, and medium or excuse me, bright, cool, and medium. I'm looking at this, realizing it says soft, and I'm reading my, my slide. All right, moving on to the next person. 
She's also a great example of bright, cool, and light. She's got light hair, skin, and eyes, uh, some brightness about her, and these colors are definitely in harmony with her. When we put these darker colors up against her, it just starts to be too much. I can definitely see her in some brighter colors, but these are just starting to feel a little bit too dark. And as you age and get a little older, be careful of wearing colors that are too dark for you and outside of your color palette because they might be a little aging. We don't want to draw attention necessarily to some of those darker circles and lines um, if we can avoid it, right? And so sometimes, not always, but sometimes those darker colors can be a little bit aging. So just be a little careful there. Here is someone that is also bright, cool, and light, cool undertones, light skin, hair, and eyes. And she just, you know, brightens up with this light color palette. And when we put the darker colors against her, again, it's okay, but not great, a little bit too harsh. Now here's something that's the opposite. This is someone that I would consider bright, cool, and medium. She's got the medium color hair here and lighter eyes. And if you are in doubt, you'll start to notice that the lighter colors aren't the best. They're not bad on her. She could certainly wear them, but she just, I can already see it. She's needing those brighter colors. And when you put those brighter colors next to her, oh, it's just so much better. So much more flattering on her. Really starts to enhance that contrast that we see between her skin and her hair and also just the brightness of her eyes. Another good example is someone that I that has much darker hair. She's not bright, cool, and light. Again, you really need light eyes, skin, and hair to be considered bright, cool, and light. So these colors, again, are okay, but not great. These As we get softer and lighter in the colors, it's just not as flattering. And we're looking for the best colors. So here we are with the brighter colors. Again, already we're looking like we're more in harmony. It's balancing the darkness of her hair and the brightness of her eyes. Here's a really good example of someone that, in my opinion, doesn't look bad in the lighter colors. In fact, she's even wearing kind of a, one of the softer blues here. Um, but once again, that's why it's kind of like a little meh face on an X. <laughs> it's okay. But we were looking for the best, and the bright, cool, and medium palette is going to be best on her. She's going to just light up with those brighter colors. So I hope that helps you see a little bit of a difference between the bright, cool, and light versus bright, cool, and medium individual and color palette. So if you're on the fence, you know you're bright and cool, but you're not too sure if you're light or medium, I hope this video helped. And if you're trying to figure out what colors flatter you best, and most importantly to learn what colors to avoid that drain you or overpower you, take the quiz out on yourcolorstyle.com quiz. It's absolutely free and it'll walk you through step by step on how you can figure out what types of colors are going to make you shine. I'm Jen Vax and thanks for watching.